With List Automator, you'll be able to identify redundancies and duplicate records by going into your My Properties page and clicking on a marketing list. From there, you can scroll to the very far right and locate any properties that are in multiple marketing lists, any properties that might be in a marketing campaign already, have been sent a voicemail drop, a postcard, an email, or have been skip traced. To isolate the duplicate records, that would be using the marketing list column. So here you can type in the number one to see all the properties in this list that are in one marketing list, the number two, three. Another way of doing this would be to click on the marketing list column header and putting it in descending order, right? So these are the properties that are in more than one marketing list and it will continue downward. Each number represents how many marketing lists that property is in. So if I click on this number five here, I'm gonna see that this Fairwood circle address is in five different marketing lists. So now that I've identified the duplicate records, I can check them all off one by one or scroll down and isolate the starting point of which the number one begins. So as I scroll down, I can see that the number one begins at 156. This means numbers one through 155 are all the duplicate records. So I can check those off individually one at a time or go right over here and type the number 155. That will only isolate numbers one through 155. Very effective, especially after you've organized the marketing list column header. From there, you can check off these results and only those 155 are selected. You can then export these records, delete them, maybe provide, put them in a different marketing list. As for redundancies, that would be utilizing our marketing campaign, voicemail drop, postcard, email, and skip trace column. This will show you if any properties have been sent multiple postcards, multiple voicemails, multiple emails, uh, if it's been skip traced more than once, uh, maybe it's in two different marketing campaigns. So these are the best ways to identify the redundancies. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please make sure to visit the help section located here on the left-hand side. Thank you for watching.